In today's video, we're traveling from Torrey, Utah to Taos, New Mexico. We start off with breakfast at the Rimrock Inn, and then it's a great day of riding. Come join us for this ride. Hey guys, if you're ever in the area, check out the Capitol Reef Resort or the Rimrock Inn. Pretty awesome places to stay. This is the view from the back side of the Capitol Reef Resort. So this is what it looks like looking off your porch, for lack of a better term, at the Capitol Reef Resort. This is your view. We had breakfast at the Pioneer Kitchen here at the Capitol Reef Resort. We stayed across the street at the Rimrock Inn last night. I think these establishments are owned by the same people. But either way, the Capitol Reef has those cabins. They have covered wagons that are converted into rooms, large covered wagons. And they have the lodge here, the hotel. Across the street, the Rimrock has a little hotel and camping cabins. Come check them out. All right, guys, we're cruising in here to Capitol Reef National Park. I have a feeling the light's going to be terrible in this video, but I have to turn it on for a second anyhow and just say good morning to you. Um, I've got someone to the Insta360 that's driving down in here, too. I've already turned that camera off for now. Because uh, we're headed over to the Mookie Dirt Way and then down into Monument Valley this morning. Um, the Capitol Reef is a cool national park. Uh, it's kind of out of the way. Not many people come here, but, uh, so you should check it out if you're ever in the area. It's kind of between Hanksville and Torrey, Utah. Um, they have these petrol lifts here, and uh, just a really, really cool area. Uh, geology here is pretty fantastic. So come and check it out if you're in the area. Alright, Papa D out. I'll put you guys later on, and I'm going to enjoy this ride. We stopped at this cool store in Hanksville to get fuel before we headed down to the Fry Canyon. Alright guys, I'm inside this cool store here. It's basically built inside of a cave. We're in Hanksville, Utah, getting ready to ride down through Fry Canyon and then over to the Mookie Dugway. But here, I'll go outside and show you the outside of this store. Yeah, we're parked over there. The light's terrible. Well, they got some petroglyphs, kind of, we're near Capitol Reef. Hollow Mountain. And back up some more. You can see that it appears to be built inside of a rock. Pretty cool. All right, let's make our way across Highway 95 to Fry Canyon on our way to the Mookie Dugway. Utah, we're literally the Mexican head. Uh, we're on Highway 95, it's a bicentennial parkway they call it. Um, I've only ridden this road one other time, and uh, it just blew me away. I wasn't expecting it. We've been uh, going across pretty much desert wasteland back here, and you can see uh, mountains and vistas and bluffs off in the distance. And now, this road's going to drop into a canyon, and we're going down by the Colorado River. Uh, it just looks otherworldly, so I wanted to take you guys along for that. Uh, so I've got both cameras on. I'll try to see them later. It's hard to do that on the fly, <coughs> but uh, that's what I'm doing here. I just turn the cameras on at the same time, and uh, I have a book recording, and here we go.
first time I rode this highway was in 2016. When I came around this curve down toward that big rock, the river was there. So Lake Powell, and it was all water to the right here. Um, so that shows how much the water level has fallen since 2016. This is still one of my favorite sections of highway uh, in all of the country that I've ridden. Just otherworldly rock formations out in the middle of nowhere. Just great riding. across Fry Canyon to the Mookie Dugway. All right, guys, I'm here at the top of the Mookie Dugway. I wish I had some stickers I put on that sign right there. But this is the top. We'll go down to the scenic overlook and look at some more stuff there and then go on down. Underneath all of those stickers, it says the Mookie Dugway. So we're going to go down to this scenic overlook. See you in a minute. So we made it to the top of the Mookie Dugway. There's the road. Going off in that direction. And we are headed down there and then eventually down there. Out that way to Monument Valley. What are you guys thinking? <laughs> Daryl's <Darryl's> happy. <laughs> yes. It's just so pretty up here. I'm getting my fix. All right, guys, we're going down to Bookie Dugway, and I have to tell you, not a lot gets my adrenaline flowing, but this road right here, riding down this gravel, um, yeah, I'd have to say it's flowing just a little bit. Uh, 
hoping to have no traffic. On the way down, I'm much more comfortable riding up these kind of roads. Uh, well, any road really, than I am down. But there's my buddy Dan down low below us. I got my buddy Daryl behind me. Um, we're gonna keep ourselves spaced out in case somebody has trouble. We can help each other. Uh, I don't want to get too far ahead of Daryl, so if he has trouble, I can get back to him. Uh, really no place to turn around. Really uh, bigger vehicle wins, I guess, if you're on this road. This is tight up here. It looks a little wider that next little bit. Uh, it looks a little steeper that next little bit. It's the switchbacks that get me on this. It's, it's a, that may not look like it, but that was a steep, a steep switchback. Yeah, you know, I've ridden on gravel before, just not this kind of a pitch. But look at the view that we're rewarded with by doing this. My prayer is we all make it down safely with no issues. And I hate this blind curve because I don't know if the vehicle's coming or not, so I'm slow now so I can see. I see no vehicle, that's good. This is pretty cool, I have to admit, but it's also almost terrifying. <laughs> I don't know why I'm more comfortable turning left than I am, right? Uh, you got to whip your head around, look where you're going, no matter what. Uh, I watch a guy on YouTube named Robert Simmons. Check him out. Uh, but he talks about being defaults of your motorcycle, slow speed maneuvers. Well, this is definitely slow speed riding right here. Uh, staying in first gear the entire time, just kind of tooling down the mountain. Uh, but he calls it preloading. Keep your RPMs up, use your clutch, throttle your clutch in and out to control the motorcycle and cover your rear brake. Well, I am definitely riding the rear brake. I'm letting first gear kind of keep me down and uh, slowed up. And then when I come to the corners, I am preloading the motorcycle as Robert Simmons tells you to do. I'm looking where I want to go and I'm turning the bike. And there's my first bit of cross traffic. Um, one more bike coming up guys we were just right up there guys i see pavement so uh the worst of it is over but man that you should see my knuckles right now <laughs> that's a white knuckle riding right there and i'm not quite down yet but, I, but there's pavement y'all see it i see it Still a narrow road, but hey, we have pavement, and pavement is a lot better than gravel. <laughs> what do you think about that, Scooby Doo? That hand right there <laughs> is numb from holding on to the freaking throttle, man, and just white knuckling the handlebars. It's crazy how much different that surface will make you concentrate on what you're doing. But man, it does. I see my buddy Dan down here at the bottom off the bike waiting on us. Experiences we'll share now, this memory. Pretty freaking cool, guys. We are the champions, my friends. I tell you what, though, that's white knuckle riding right there, buddy. <laughs> so I have an advantage over you guys. I didn't tell you. What's it?
my driveway is uh, almost a quarter mile of like really loose gravel. <laughs> so, you get practice on But it ain't a 10% grade, is no, it? No, it's not 10% grade. But I know there's a sweet spot in gravel, not too slow, not too fast. And that was like about 12 miles an hour. It's perfect. Right. So. All right, guys, we made it down the Mookie Dugway. We were just right up there, taking a video a few minutes ago at the Overlook, and we came down the Dugway. And here we are at the bottom, getting ready to go to Mexican Hat for lunch. After a brief stop at the Mexican Hat Rock, we went in search of lunch. All righty. Lunch time. Hey, we need more gravel roads. <laughs> We could probably find some, but this might be it. <laughs> they sent out a signal and you came running. I'm sorry, that's just too funny. That's funny. <laughs> I got you. Guys, we're here at Mexican Hat, getting ready to ride into Monument Valley. Um, we're going to stop at Forest Gump Point, take a couple of pictures, and then we're going to find some place for lunch. There's a San Juan Motel. Um, I've heard good things about it, never stayed there, but they have terraces that overlook the river. And there's the San Juan River we're crossing right now. southeast corner of Utah, getting ready to go into the northeast corner of Arizona and take a ride down through Monument Valley. Run, Forrest, run! This place has been here for millennia, but a movie popularized it. Right around this corner, I believe, spot that we're looking for. So we made it to Forest Cup Point and took a couple of photos. Cayuta to get some lunch, bread, and meeting today. Moving 
So we continued our ride through Monument Valley. After we found something to eat, we continued on toward Taos, New Mexico. Highway 64 in New Mexico. We're down in Taos. Glad to see some mountains after riding in the desert all day long. The weather is clear and the sky is blue. Anything I want, baby, I can do. I'm on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were blessed with an awesome sunset as we rolled in towards Taos. The video really doesn't do justice to the view we saw that day as we rolled toward the Rio Grande Gorge Bridge. I want to give you guys a view of this sky, and I apologize for the bugs on the screen uh, when we go to the forward facing part of this camera. As we made our way across the Rio Grande Bridge, we were thankful for another great day of riding. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, share it with somebody. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks again for riding along, guys.